Let me be the first to welcome you to this incredibly sacred occasion. It's a little chilly, but uh, we, we, we love you and uh, we're so honored to be here. You know, what I love about this is, you know, right now, the two of you are standing in just one of the, the greatest moments of your whole life. You know, your life is going to be filled with some amazing moments, things that you're going to get experienced together. But, 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 but this is a moment almost unlike anything else. You've taught me time after time how to love deeply and honestly and vulnerably. One of the first things I learned from you was that to love as hard as you can, you have to be willing to risk being hurt. But allowing yourself to love so openly is the only way to feel how exhilarating and deep and true our love really is. So I promise to dance with you to nothing but our own rhythm um, and breath and heartbeat and lose all sense of time and space just holding you. And I promise to be your stability and solidarity, th solidarity through all of it, um, as you are mine. Learn, Alicia Deliri. I am so in love with you. Adam, okay, I have to first start off with a letter I wrote to you on May 3rd, 2007, on a Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. I know all of this because, of course, my 13-year-old self would write it down. I was in a girl's small group and we were instructed that night to write a letter to our future husband. Although I did not know it was you then, I still meant it with all my heart, believing that God knew. So, from 13-year-old me to you. <clears throat> my dear husband, this is a love letter and a prayer put together. Right now, obviously, I don't know who you are, but know that I already have a place for you in my heart. I promise to God and you that I will keep myself pure. I love you so much. <laughs> I know you're not perfect and I never would expect you to be. You probably will know that I'm not by the time you read this. <laughs> Wink face. <laughs> I just needed to tell you that I love you as much as I can and I pray for you constantly. Wait for me, darling, because I'm waiting for you. I love you till death do us part. Your loving wife, Lauren. <laughs> Adam, I do. I promise to love you forever, unconditionally. I promise to believe that you and I, through Christ, are a complete unit. If we ever decide to expand our unit, whether by way of fur babies, plant babies, human babies, or just food babies, <laughs> I promise to remember they are a blessing, not a necessity. I promise to love God first and you second all the days of my life, and nothing will change that. You're my best friend, my confidant, my partner in crime, my soulmate. We are two whole people becoming one in Christ, and I'm so thankful. Mm. I'm amazed by God's grace. I did nothing to deserve you or your love, and I will thank God every day for you. I will always love you and always want you. You are my forever and my always. I'm so excited to be your wife. By the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus, and according to the laws of the state of Tennessee, it is my joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Adam, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my joy to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Adam Budnick. 